Hello and welcome to my attempt at the step door puzzle for today. This is a four, five, six and seven letter wordle that you do one after the other. I thought I'd try some different vowels to start with today and it's paid dividends because we've got a U. Is that going to be the only vowel or are we going to have an E as well or something like that? Let's try Muse. Okay, so we don't have an E, but we do now have the U in the correct place, which should help. How about Rung? Oh, we've got an R. So how about Hurt? Oh, we're making very slow progress here. Berry? Jury? It could be Fury, couldn't it? Wow, seven guesses used up on that. That was a tough one. Uncommon letters but we've got through it and 13 guesses will hopefully be enough for the other three. Let's see, let's try it by rate to keep with the anger theme. And that's ruled out three of the most common vowels. So we're gonna have an O and or a U surely. Let's see if we've got both of them. Oh, okay, so it ends in a T. Um, how about mount? Oh, so it's not an N. What's going to be fourth? Is it doubt? It was. I should not have doubted that. Um, right. What are we going to guess first for the six letter word? We've used up more than half the guesses. Hmm. What's a related word that's six letters and doesn't have any repeated letters? Um, Fury is a boxer, isn't he? So let's try boxing. Okay, that was a silly guess because the X was never going to be correct. But we do have the N in the right place and it's not an ING ending, so that's interesting. How about parent? Let's try some more common vowels. Now, doing a really good job of ruling out some of the other consonants, aren't we? But at least we've got the A and the E, we just don't have them in the right place. Um, are they the other way around? Is it something like that? Um, and if so, I mean, it could be pecans, but it's probably not the plural, and we've used the P. It could be secant, a mathematical term, but we've used the T. Um, what else can it actually be? Um, maybe those are not in the right place. Could it be an E at the end? Humane. Let's try humane. Oh, didn't expect it to actually be correct. I thought it would just give me a little bit more information, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, and let's try fighter since we just tried boxing. Okay, so it's not an ER ending or an ED ending, but we we do have both of those letters. That might help. Is it an RE beginning? Um, I think we're going to need a lot more information here, aren't we? We've got um, some really common letters. How about a scribe? Okay, so it does end in E, and we've got the S. Um, but it's not an IVE ending. We're probably going to need another vowel, aren't we? We could have duplicated I's or duplicated E's, but. Or we could have just an O and a U, one or the other. Is it going to start with an S? Because. S P R I perhaps. Oh no, sprinkle doesn't quite work. <laughs> Sprinkle's got eight letters, who knew that? Uh, we could put the I there, but then we can't have the R fourth. Where could the R go? Could be O R E ending perhaps. 
so we can't have bi because I was thinking something like signore might be a good guess just to use up some more of the common letters but we can't have the g and the i can't be second anyway So where is the I going to go? That's the real question. And what's the ending going to be? I mean, I'm just trying to think of words like sprinkle, uh, but we we need to use the S and the R, so it's not going to be NKL, because we will run out of space for the S and the R. What could it be then? It could be just a PR start. Promise. I think that's plausible. Oh no, because the I can't be there. So if the I is there, where would the S be? Because Primrose is too long as well. Hmm, not doing immensely well today. It can't be immense because we need to use the R somewhere. What are the last few letters going to be and what are the first few letters going to be is obviously the question. It's, yeah, the I not being able to be fifth rules out quite quite a lot of letters, I think. Hmm. How about DR at the start? That would be drizzle, but we need the S in there somewhere. things like thistle, we could have an STLE ending, except we've ruled out the T already. It can't be swindle or something like that, because we need the R. And in fact, the R can't be there either, so it can't be swirly. I mean, that's not a word. That's not how you spell it anyway. <laughs> Whistle. All these words are ending in an E and none of them can be correct. So if it's an un, which have to be uni probably because otherwise the I would likely be fifth. We still need to use the S and the R. So it'd be something like that, which is obviously not a word. So let's go back to putting the S at the start. Could we have another vowel? I mean we could, but I don't know where what we would do with the I in that case. The I would have to be fourth. If it's something like that, we still need the E. We could have an SQI ending, but I, uh, we're running out of letters. It looks like Squirtle, which obviously it can't be. P could still be second, couldn't it? And the I could be there. It's almost pristine, but that is not valid either. I might have to try promise just to get some more information, even though it definitely can't be correct. Oh, it's an SE ending. That's interesting. Is it an ending like that? I can't see how we would fit the I in the are in. In fact, if it is like that, it would have to be something like that. I don't think that's likely. 
Um, could be that. Re-rinse. That's not even a word. I'm sure that's a word. Maybe it's hyphenated. But it definitely could be something along those lines, couldn't it? we've just used up the O. And I don't think in birth it would be with an M and we've used the B anyway. Inverse. There we go. Lovely mathematical word. Should have got that a bit quicker. But still only got it in four. That felt like it, it took a lot of time but didn't take that many guesses. So not my best performance today. Only two guesses left over. But we didn't fail, that's the most important thing <laughs> after my exploits earlier in the week. Uh, let me know if you did a lot better. Thank you for watching, that's the step door puzzle for today, and bye for now.